This particular product, if we have a look at it here, we know that it is a dog bed, right? So it's a dog bed. We know that we can see that clearly. But one of the one of the I guess biggest challenges that Michael had with this particular product is could it be because the price is so high? That's why I'm not actually selling many of these products. I mean, if you have a look at it, we can see the extra large is 347, large is 297, medium is 267, right? And if we scroll down, you can see other dog beds like, let's say, uh, let's say, let's go down here. Okay, perfect. So we can see other dog beds like this one here, right? So that's $53. We can see this one here, it's 86. That's, probably, that's a small size. So maybe it's a little bit more, but we can see this one at 64. 52, right? So you'll instantly think that that reasoning why he's not making any sales is essentially plausible, right? Because people would look at another dog bed that has thousands of reviews, only 64 bucks. And you think that's why I'm actually not selling this dog bed as much, but I don't believe that, right? And the reason why I don't believe that is because I know how many, how much money people spend on their dogs, right? I myself have an Airedale Terrier. We've bought him three beds. And trust me, if I had a really, really good bed that I paid for once, a few hundred dollars, I'm going to pay for that. So if it's not that, then what's the actual issue here? So if we look a little bit closer to this particular hero image, and if you look at the actual title itself also, now you got to remember that if we go down to here, you only have a very, very small amount of room right? If you're looking at these particular listings or even on the, on the front page of Amazon to actually showcase your product, right? You have a very, very small room or small window to actually showcase your product in the right way. And it's important that we showcase it correctly, right? It's very, very important that we showcase it correctly. So what am I, what am I mean by that? All right. So if we go back up, the first thing you'll notice is that the actual bed itself, and I kind of alluded this to um, to Michael, and again, this was something that I did put a lot of effort into doing some research into it. Uh, but if we have a look at it, and if we kind of zoom in on that image, that color of the actual bed looks blue, right? It looks blue. And so that's the very first thing that I noticed. So instantly, because it looks blue, what you're doing is you're essentially taking out a lot of the market because I'll be looking at it. Yeah, I don't really want a blue bed, but this blue isn't actually blue. It's actually silver. So this bed is silver. So if we go to the third image there, you can see it's actually silver, right? But if we go back to the hero image, it looks blue. So that's one of the things that kind of caught my eye is the actual color wasn't right on the actual hero image itself. Another thing is when I've zoomed into this image, you can see there's little marks on the actual bed. Right, So you can see there's little um, scratches or marks on the bed. So instantly for me, it's not feeling like a $347 bed, right? Because of those couple of things. Another thing also is if you look at the actual dog, the dog looks actually pretty big or you know, the bed looks quite small for that particular dog and it doesn't look too comfortable, right? So if we go back down here, we can see that you know, if we look at this bed, I mean, this bed looks huge. You know, it's even got those two kind of support uh, stands there. The dog looks like he's sitting very comfortably on it. Um, but if we go back to our image, you'll see that it doesn't actually look too comfortable at all, right? So that's a big thing. So you only have a few seconds really to get the attention of the person who's looking to actually buy this product and you've lost me already, right? In, in that particular thing. Then if we look at a few more things, so one thing that we look at is the actual keyword for this particular product. Now, if we go to, and I'm just gonna go into search and I'm gonna type in dog bed. And one thing that I have is I have a tool that's called Keywords Everywhere. And the good thing about it is that I can go to Amazon Australia, type in a keyword and it'll give me the search results on Google for that keyword, right? So I like to always, back and, and have a look at Google as a kind of a backup option, right? To see the demand in Australia. And it's a good thing to do also, because if you do find yourself selling a product that has maybe not so much demand in Australia, you can always do something with Google if there's enough traffic there. So I always like to keep that as a backup, but we can see that Dogbed has 40,500 searches a month. 
Um, then we have dog bed large, dog bed extra large, etc. Et right. So, but if we have a look at the actual title itself, right, the word dog bed is all the way there. Okay. So the way that Amazon works when it comes to kind of keywords um, ranking is they hold very high priority to what's on that first line there. Then next, a little bit more priority there, a little bit more priority there, et cetera. The closer that you have your main keywords to your actual brand name here, the more relevant you're telling Amazon that this product is, right? So that's, quite, that's also a big thing that I actually noticed. Now, this has to do more with traffic as opposed to probably conversion. But if you get enough traffic, you're going to get conversion also, right? So that's something that we need to look at also in terms of this particular title. And there's, there's obviously a lot going on here, um, which I'm going to dissect um, probably in a few weeks and I'll tell you why. All right, cool. So that's a couple of things there. Another thing also is when we actually look at the price of the product itself. Now we have to think, we have to get into the mind of the person that's looking to buy this product. As soon as they compare 347 to everyone else's, the first thing they're thinking is it's an expensive bet, right? But because the hero image isn't good enough, we haven't given them a reason why, and we haven't told them what, what makes our product different, right? And why they should be paying that amount of money, right? So if we actually have a look at the actual product itself, did you know that this product is the only dog bed that's actually approved by the RSPCA? Did you know that this actual dog bed, the actual mat of it is made in Australia, right? So there's a lot of big differences within this bed and any other bed, but the people don't know that because we haven't told them that and we haven't showed them that, right? So that's a huge thing. So one thing that kind of I've proposed to Michael is that within the actual hero image itself, I mean, I know it comes flat packed in a, in a big box, but what we have to do is we have to try to figure out a way on how to get this information within the actual hero image, right? How can we actually do that? And if we have a look at say, um, this is just uh, some of the things um, within the actual product itself. So here we go, preferred bet supplier, RSPCA in Queensland. It's this bed is actually indestructible, right? So that's why they actually created it. It's an indestructible bed for for um, dogs that love to chew. So there's all these things that we need to know, and we need to know really, really quickly. The person needs to know quickly. So one thing we can actually do is this particular image here. So with this dog bed, what we could do is we could possibly have like a like a kind of an insert or like a kind of something that goes across here, you know, like when it's on your bed and it's attached to the back of the mattress. So, so some type of a tag that has that here, maybe Australia made, maybe, um, you know, Australia made and that it's indestructible. Maybe that's been proved by the RSPCA. So, and we can actually have that in the hero image itself. Now, how do we do that in the hero image? Because I've been hearing a lot about people saying, well, it's compliant, it's not compliant. The way it works is this. You can actually have anything on your hero image as long as that particular thing that you're having on your hero image is in your packaging, right? Or is on the actual product itself. And it needs to be a real image, right? So a lot of people, what they tend to do is they'll get a 3D render of an insert that's not really part of their packaging. They'll put it on the hero image. It might be there up for a little while, but that's not the right way to do it. If you are actually going to change your hero image and have the words that you want to have on there to highlight what makes your product different, then what you need to do is you actually need to take a real photo, maybe of the actual box itself, the sticker on it, or with the actual mat um, itself also. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are a community of two and a half thousand members and growing. We're the fastest growing community of professional e-commerce sellers uh, right here in Australia. Uh, with sales, by the way, of over $50 million. $50 million, holy crap. If you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we can help you build your own e-commerce business too, get off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is in the description. And thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.